Mr. Depp hasn't looked at you once this entire trial, has he? Not that I've noticed, no. You've looked at him, though, many times, haven't you? Yes, I have. You know exactly why Mr. Depp won't look back at you, don't you? I do. He promised you he would never, you would never see his eyes again. Isn't that true? I don't recall if he said that. One of the last times you ever saw Mr. Depp was when you met him in San Francisco in July of 2016, right? That was the second to last time I saw him, yes. And this was after you had publicly accused him of domestic violence. I got my restraining order before that, yes. Mm -hmm. And this is after you had obtained the domestic violence restraining order against him. That's correct. Let's please play plaintiff's exhibit 1229. Um, for the record, it's at 1101 through 1209. I'm going to ask that it be admitted into evidence. Any objection to 1229? Yes. All right, 1229, you want to enter it in its entirety? Yes, please. Okay, 1229 entered in its entirety. Go ahead and play your section. Oh, no, a hug will save it all. Oh, all this, know, all this, everything I just, wanted, just I, I just wanted to touch you. Just, really? After all the shit you yes, just said? I, I just wanted to give you a hug. After all the shit you fucking yes, used me up, yes, you want to touch me? Please, please stop me. Please stop. Please, I just wanted to hug you and say bye. I didn't want to say it back. No, because I'm nothing to you. And I will always be nothing to you. Calm. Calm. Don't take blood. You're not my shrink. Fucking look at it's not my fucking eyes. You will not see my eyes again. That's you and Mr. Depp in that recording. That is. And this is from when you and Mr. Depp met in San Francisco in July of 2016, right? Yes, that's what it sounds like. That was in the hotel. We met once after that as well. This is after you publicly accused him of domestic abuse. Uh, yes, and got my TRO. And he tells you, you will not see my eyes again, doesn't he? Uh, yes, he does in that recording. And he kept that promise, hasn't he? As far as I know, he cannot look at me. He won't look at you, right, Ms. Heard? He can't. One of the first questions your counsel asked you on direct is, why are you here? Do you remember that? I do. Let's please play plaintiff's exhibit 357A, which is already in evidence, Your Honor. And for the record, it's 2122 through 2140. And see what, the, see what the jury and judge think. Tell the world, Johnny. Tell them, Johnny Depp. I, Johnny Depp, man, I'm, I'm a victim too of domestic violence. And yes. I, you know, it's a fair fight. And see how many people believe or side with you. That's your voice on that recording, right? Yes, it is. You were speaking with Mr. Depp? Yes. And you said to Mr. Depp, quote, you can tell, you can please tell people that it was a fair fight and see what the jury and the judge think. Tell the world, Johnny. Tell them, Johnny Depp, I, Johnny Depp, a man, a victim too of domestic violence, end quote. That's what you said, right? I was saying it to the man who beat me up, yes. I thought it was preposterous. And the man you beat up numerous times. <laughs> Right, Ms. Hurd? I could never hurt Johnny. You're here in this courtroom because Mr. Depp finally told the world that he is a victim of domestic violence. I know that he is suing me um, and has sued other people or corporations that have said that as well. You didn't think he would tell the world he was a victim of domestic violence, did you? I found it hard to believe that he could or that he would do that considering the relationship he and I had. I, I thought it would be crazy for him to do so, knowing what 
I know we lived through. Or, as you said to him in that recording, who was going to believe that Johnny Depp, a man, is a victim of domestic violence, right? With all due respect, I wasn't saying it because he's a man. I was saying it because he was a man who beat me up for five years. Mr. Depp is your victim, isn't he? <sighs> no, ma'am. And once he left you, you continued to abuse him publicly by calling him an abuser, didn't you? He is an abuser, and you can look either of us up online and figure out who's being abused online. So Mr. Depp hit you in the face multiple times while he was wearing rings on this occasion, correct? Which occasion in March are you referencing? You weren't The specific. testimony that you gave on day 15 of this trial, March of 2013. You weren't specific as to the day. There were several incidents. The one where he hit you several times in the face. Uh, there were, there were so, I'm sorry, just so I understand better. There were several incidents in March. Which one are you asking me about? The time that he hit you several times in the face wearing rings. Well, he pretty in much March always- March of 2013. Right. What are you asking me? I'm sorry. He was wearing rings on that occasion? I pretty much always knew him to wear rings. Okay, let's please pull up Defendant's Exhibit 170A, which is already in evidence, Your Honor. You testified that this is a picture you took after that incident, right, Ms. Hurd? Yes, that was one where he grabbed me. And hit you in the face so many times that you don't remember. Isn't that correct? That's correct. And there's no injuries to your face in this picture, are there? Not that this picture shows. And there's no medical records reflecting that you sought treatment after this alleged incident either. I did not seek medical treatment at this time. So there's no medical records reflecting any injuries to your face after he hit you several times. I did not need to go to the doctor at the time. Despite hitting you several times that you lost count with rings on, your fi on his fingers. That's correct. I did not seek medical attention other than my therapist. You testified to another incident in March of 2013 13, where Mr. Depp hit you while he was wearing a lot of rings. Do you remember that testimony? Yes, ma'am. And you testified you felt like your lip went through your teeth and it got a little blood on the wall. Yes, I remember that. There isn't a picture of you with injuries after that alleged incident, is there? I don't know if I've seen one. Um, I, I can't recall. There are a lot of pictures. You didn't produce any photographs after that alleged incident, did you? I, I don't know if I took one or if it's included. I'm not, I'm not quite sure which ones. You didn't show any pictures to this jury after describing that alleged incident that your teeth, your lip went into your teeth. You don't remember that, right? I, you didn't I show any pictures to this jury after describing that incident, right? I don't believe I've seen that picture admitted. That picture doesn't exist. I, I don't know which one you're talking about. There were, we have pictures from March 2013, yes. The only picture that you've produced and shown to this jury is the one that was just put up on the screen where you said he hit you multiple times in the face and you appear to have what is a bruise on your arm, correct? I believe this is the only picture that's in evidence right now. Your nose doesn't appear to be injured in any of these pictures, does it, Ms. Hurd? That's why I'm wearing makeup. And makeup covers up swelling, right? Makeup will not cover up swelling. Ice will, though. Ice will cover up swelling? Ice reduces swelling. Normally, the swelling after that kind of injury is not as bad as you might imagine. And for me, it wasn't that bad. I have a picture of it underneath the makeup. That's how I know how to reference it. A picture you haven't produced or shown to this jury, right, Ms. Hurd? I have, so I produced everything. But you haven't shown it to this jury? I would very much like to. It's not my job. So. You went to see Dr. Kipper's office a couple days later. That's right. He wasn't in the office. Can we please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 47, which is already in evidence? This is your medical record for December 17th, 2015, isn't it, Ms. Hurd? That's correct. And this record doesn't document any physical injuries on you, does it? I, I don't think so, no. I, 
I don't think I spoke to Kipper. I didn't speak to Kipper um, that day. And but you went I didn't, to yeah. Dr. Kipper's office and were seen, correct? I went to Dr. Kipper went to Dr. Kipper's office for a concussion check. Right. Okay. And this medical record is from that visit, correct? Partially, yes. Scroll down, please. If we could. The signature Kipper down below. This is the entirety of the medical record, right, Ms. Heard? Yes, what I meant by partial is I didn't talk about what happened to me. I didn't get into my injuries. I didn't get into what happened or um, ask for anything other than should I get some sort of scan done. Uh, but this record doesn't document any physical injuries on you, does it? Uh, I'd have to read it in full, but I, I don't know. Well, let's do that. If we could please go, well, under skin on the second page. It reads intact, normal color, moisture, hair distribution, texture, turgor, no signs of, oh, this is going to be hard, cyanosis, mottling jaundice. It also says I'm a well-nourished male. Right. I have no idea what that means. I, I think this medical record's missing a lot of things. Yeah, but it doesn't document any physical injuries. Doesn't seem to be documenting anything. Probably because there was nothing to document, right, Ms. Heard? I disagree with you on that. You seem to really like taking pictures of Mr. Depp while he's sleeping, don't you? I hated it. I hated it. Let's look at Defendant's Exhibit 1094, which is also in evidence. You took this picture of Mr. Depp as well, didn't you? I did. You decided to take a picture of Mr. Depp asleep with ice cream spilled all over him, right? He was nodding off and um, I was worried about how bad the medications and the medication change and the drug use had gotten where he wouldn't even feel ice cream or a lit cigarette on him and it scared me. So you really. took a picture of it? Yes, I, um, I wanted him to get help and Johnny's surrounded by enablers who clean up after him. Objection, and Your Honor. Him. I'm going to move to strike everything after yes that she took this picture. It's still responsive here, Your Honor. The question was, did you take this picture? All right, I'll sustain the objection. Thank you, Your Honor. This isn't a very flattering picture of Mr. Depp, is it? No, it's not. You wouldn't agree that this is, or you would agree with me that this is an embarrassing scene, right? <sighs> Yes, I think it's a part of getting help, is looking at it, seeing it. But you sent this picture to one of your friends, didn't you? Uh, I don't recall. Um, if we could please pull up Defendant's Exhibit 252. We'll only be looking at the portion of this document. So if we could please call it Defendant's Exhibit 252A. Mm -hmm. 252A. And for ease, we've gone ahead and redacted it. Yes, I was asking for support. That's correct. There's no question yet, Ms. Heard. Ms. Heard, does this refresh your recollection that you did, in fact, send this picture to your friend, Rocky Pennington? Yes, I did. And you sent it to her on August 7th, 2014, at 11.24 p.m., correct? That is correct. So you sent Ms. Pennington this picture of Mr. Depp with ice cream spilled on him, right? That is correct. And you wrote, quote, this is what I've been dealing with, end quote. Did I read that right? You did read that right. That's correct. And this is you protecting Mr. Depp? That is me getting support from my best friend. This is you supporting Mr. Depp? This is me getting support from my best friend. I also need support. You weren't afraid the, the monster would get upset that you took this picture? This was um, Opiate Johnny. This is a different version of him. This is Opiate on the Nod Johnny. And you weren't afraid that Opiate Johnny or the monster, as you called him, would get upset that you sent this picture to your friend? Well, he's all of those things. He, of course he could get upset. Of course that's scary to me, of course. But didn't stop you from sending this picture to your friend, did it? Why would it? So this is what the table looked like after Mr. Depp had been doing cocaine? 
Uh, well, clearly he has yet to snort these lines. There are four lines of cocaine on this table, right, Ms. Heard? In this picture, I see four lines. There isn't any cocaine residue around those lines, right? Uh, I, not that I can tell, no. Doesn't really look like anyone's been doing cocaine off that table, does it? With all due respect, I'm not sure you know how that works. I'm asking if you do. You've testified you've done cocaine. I have. Doesn't really look like Mr. Depp or anyone was doing cocaine off that table, does it? Uh, I beg to differ with you on that. When you snort cocaine, typically it goes into your nose. Mr. Depp donated $100,000 of the divorce settlement directly to the ACLU, is that right? Right at the beginning of the divorce settlement, he um, donated 100000 to each charity on my behalf or towards my contribution. So $100,000 to each to the ACLU and to the Children's Hospital. And in response, you publicly demanded that Mr. Depp pay the divorce settlement directly to you instead of the charities, right? That was always the agreement actually is for him to pay me directly. It was not his money as per the settlement agreement to give away and reap a tax benefit from. I said if he wants to do it and give to charity all of a sudden, then he should pay the correct amount and not try to get a big tax break for it. So effectively for his tax bracket, he should be paying double that amount to the charity directly. And if he wanted to pay the charity directly, he could. He could do that was fine with me, but he would need to pay the adjusted amount. Ultimately, the rest of the $7 million divorce settlement was paid directly to you, right? Over time, yes. And Mr. Depp didn't end up paying the rest of the $7 million divorce settlement directly to the charities you identified. That is correct. He paid them you, installments to me. You stopped that from happening, didn't you? I don't understand what your question is. I'm sorry. You stopped Mr. Depp from paying the charities that you had named directly. That is incorrect. I said if you want to pay the charities directly, pay the adjusted amount, or pay as per our agreement in the settlement or in the divorce, as per our agreement. You also and publicly he chose to do the former, not the latter. I mean, the other way around. In fact, you released a statement in response to Mr. Depp's $100,000 donations to the ACLU and CHLA, didn't you? I don't recall. Let's see if we can refresh your recollection. In this October 2018 interview, you said that you had, quote, donated, end quote, your entire divorce settlement to charity, right? That's correct. And in fact, your exact words were, quote, seven million in total was donated to, I split it between the ACLU and the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles, end quote, that's, right? That's correct. I made that statement as soon as I got a divorce and we reached the settlement. That's when I pledged it right then. And you say this because you, quote, wanted nothing, end quote. That is correct. But you hadn't donated your entire, entire $7 million settlement to charity at that point, had you? That's incorrect. Sitting here today, Ms. Hurd, you still haven't donated the $7 million divorce settlement to charity. Isn't that right? Incorrect. I pledged the entirety no, of Ms. the Heard, settlement, $7 million to question. charity, and I, I Heard, intend to fulfill Heard, those obligations. Ms. Heard, that's not my question. Please, what was try your to question? answer my question. Sitting here today, you have not donated the $7 million, donated, not pledged, donated, the seven million dollars divorce settlement to charity. I use pledge and donation synonymous with one another. They but I the don't, Miss Heard. I don't use it synonymously. That's how donations are paid, Miss Heard. Respectfully, that's not my question. As of today, you have not paid three point five million dollars of your own money to the ACLU. Yes or no? I have not yet. And as of today, you have not paid $3.5 million of your own money to the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles, correct? I have not yet. Johnny sued me. So as of today, you have not donated, paid $7 million of your divorce settlement to charity, right? I have not been able to fulfill those, uh, those uh, obligations yet. And that's because you did want something, didn't you? I didn't want anything and I didn't get anything. You wanted Mr. Depp's money. Didn't get it, wasn't interested in it. 
I loved Johnny, that's why I was with him. You wanted praise for donating the money, right? That's incorrect. You wanted good press. In general, one <laughs> does want good press, yes. You wanted to seem altruistic publicly. Wasn't my interest. Um, my interest is uh, in my name and clearing my name. And at the time, I was being called a liar and my motives were being questioned. I did see it as important to clear that up. I wanted to make a statement to make sure that there was not any doubt that I couldn't be labeled these things just because Johnny was a bigger star and had more publicity reach. You wanted to remind everyone of your claims of domestic violence against Mr. Depp, right? No, I wanted to move on with my life. You wanted to make those claims seem believable. They are believable. They you were You wanted believable. them to be seen, you wanted to be seen, excuse me, as a noble victim of domestic violence. I have you? never, never wanted to be seen as a victim, nor have you, I ever called myself one. You testified under oath that, quote, the entirety of your divorce settlement was donated to charity, end quote, didn't you? That's correct. I pledged the entirety. No. Ms. Heard, my questions. Your counsel will have time to redirect you after. You testified under oath, quote, the entirety of your divorce settlement was donated to charity, end quote. That is correct. I pledged the entirety. I'm going to move to strike everything after yes. Under oath, that statement wasn't true, was it, Ms. Hurd? I'm sorry, I don't follow your question. Sorry. You testified under oath, quote, the entirety of my divorce settlement was donated to charity, end quote. That statement wasn't true. It is true. I pledged the entirety to charity. The statement. When you say you buy a house, you don't pay Ms. for the Heard, entire house Heard, at one time. You pay it I'm over not asking, time. Ms. Heard. All right, next question, please. Thank you. That statement isn't true today, as you sit here today, is it? It is true. I pledged the entirety. But you didn't charity. donate it. Unfortunately. You didn't donate it. It's a yes or no. I haven't been able to obligate, I mean, to fulfill those So that's a no, right, Ms. Heard? I, am, I made the pledge. I want to be very clear. I pledged the entirety. I haven't been able to fulfill those pledges because I've been sued. You had all of the $7 million for 13 months before Mr. Depp sued you, and you chose not to pay it to the charities you pledged it to. Is that I, correct, Mr. I disagree with your characterization of that. You told Mr. Depp to, Depp to suck your dick multiple times, didn't you? Yes, I did. You tell him to go run to his 15 other houses, right? That's correct. Because that's what he would do when you behave like this, isn't it? Eventually, he would go and stay in one of the other houses. You call him a sellout, don't you? I was expressing frustration uh, about his criticism of my career and how many problems that caused within the dynamic of our relationship, yes. So you call him a sellout and a joke? I called him horrible, ugly things, as you can hear. And Sell out. We spoke to each other in a really horrible way. Pretty sure we just heard you speak to him in a really horrible way. You called him a sellout, I just disagree. Right, um, you oh, called I, him a sellout, right, Ms. Heard? I called him a lot of ugly things. And a joke. I called him a lot of ugly things. You called him a joke on that recording. You called him a washed up piece of shit. I think we both called each other that on that uh, occasion, yes. Mr. Depp mentions Aquaman, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Mr. Depp got you that role in Aquaman, didn't he? Excuse me? Mr. Depp got you that role in Aquaman, didn't he? No, Ms. Vasquez, I got myself that role by auditioning. That's Mr. how Depp that works. Mr. Depp says, quote, your jealousy is so tragic. I heard him say that, yes. You were the jealous one in this relationship, weren't you, Ms. Heard? I think he was indicating I was jealous of his career. But now you've twisted it to say it was Mr. Depp that's the jealous one. Johnny's always been very jealous when I worked, when I did anything, friends. Yes, he's always been very jealous. Ms. Heard, you're talking about Mr. Depp running away from you at the first sign of trouble, aren't you? No, I'm, um, I'm recognizing the clues at this point when he would run away at the first sign of trouble. Often that was a clue for me to know that he was back using again and that we were about to enter the next phase of the cycle. And you describe his running away from you as the monster right? 
that wasn't what was a monster. The monster was the man who beat me up. The running away was just a, attached to that. It was a sign, a signal to me as a clue, as somebody trying to pe put together clues um, that we were entering into, into that phase. But in these messages, Ms. Heard, the exactly. monster isn't Mr. Depp doing drugs, is it? It was always um, the man who did drugs and beat me up. Yes, that's always been the monster. But that's not what you're saying in these messages. That is exactly what I'm saying in the messages. You don't describe Mr. Depp being violent, do you? I do not describe that in this text message, no. So it's a cowardly monster this time? No. Okay. And going down the page, you write a long series of text messages to Mr. Depp that don't get a response, is that correct? That is correct. You write, come groan, face the shit, and we can do anything. You go on a little later to say, please come home. Let's apologize to each together. And continuing on page 77, you write, not go to bed mad. And then you say, sound okay? Sound like the priority in the long run? Come home. Don't be the monster. Be the man, please. Please call me, please. Continuing on page 78. You write, I don't want the monster. I need my man. I need to talk to you. Please, Johnny. Don't force me to be something else to you. This is taking me for granted and I can never stop before this turns into something far darker describing yourself in that text message, right? The exact opposite. I'm trying to interrupt him starting a new cycle where he starts using again. He's I'm trying not responding desperately to you, to... Ms. Heard. Yeah, that's why I'm trying yeah. to desperately stop him. Please answer the phone, you say. Doesn't this mean anything to you? And it goes on. And I won't read all these messages, but you're saying, please answer over and over again, right? It was very important to me. I was running out of time and I was trying desperately to stop him. He wasn't with you, Ms. Heard. Exactly, which is how I knew it was about to get a lot worse. He would leave, use, and come back way worse, with way less reality, with more delusions. He'd be more drunk. He'd I'm be more under the influence. I'm going to move to strike everything after I was trying to stop the answer that. to her question. No, Your Honor, she was responding. I'll, I'll, I'll overrule the objection. That's fine. Thank you, Your Honor. This is a situation where you were trying to get Mr. Depp to pay attention to you. Isn't that right? No, I was trying to stop him from using. And because he ran away from you at the first sign of trouble, you call him a monster, I right? was trying to stop him from turning into the monster. The drugs are the, are the key that opened the door. Who was the real monster in this relationship, Ms. Heard? Lives in Johnny. Half of Johnny. It's not all of Johnny. The other half of him is wonderful and beautiful and the man I love. Going down the page, you write a long series of text messages to Mr. Depp that don't get a response. Is that correct? That is correct. You write, come groan, face the shit, and we can do anything. You go on a little later to say, please come home. Let's apologize to each together. And continuing on page 77, you write, not go to bed mad. And then you say, sound okay? Sound like the priority in the long run? Come home. Don't be the monster. Be the man. Please. Please call me. Please. Continuing on page 78. You write, I don't want the monster. I need my man. I need to talk to you. Please, Johnny, don't force me to be something else to you. This is taking me for granted and I can never stop before this turns into something far darker. Describing yourself in that text message, right? The exact opposite. I'm trying to interrupt him starting a new cycle where he starts using again. He's I'm trying not responding to you, to... Ms. Heard. Yeah, that's why I'm trying yeah. to desperately stop him. Please answer the phone, you say. Doesn't this mean anything to you? And it goes on. And I won't read all these messages, but you're saying, please answer over and over again, right? It was very important to me. 
I was running out of time and I was trying desperately to stop him. He wasn't with you, Miss Hurd. Exactly, which is how I knew it was about to get a lot worse. He would leave, use, and come back way worse, with way less reality, with more delusions. He'd be more drunk. He'd I'm be more under the influence. I'm going to strike everything after. I was trying to stop that. Answer to her question. Mm -hmm. Your Honor, she was responding. I'll, I'll, I'll overrule the objection. That's fine. Thank you, Your Honor. This is a situation where you were trying to get Mr. Depp to pay attention to you. Isn't that right? No, I was trying to stop him from using. And because he ran away from you at the first sign of trouble, you call him a monster. Right? I was trying to stop him from turning into the monster. The drugs are the, are the key that opened the door. Who was the real monster in this relationship, Ms. Hurd? Lives in Johnny, half of Johnny. It's not all of Johnny. The other half of him is wonderful and beautiful and the man I love. 